everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today's video is going to be my spring fashion and beauty favorites. For any of you who are new around here or if this is your first time watching, then hi. Thank you so much for clicking on and for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button as well if you'd like to see more videos from me. I would love to have you come back and watch more videos. But um, my spring favorites are basically where I choose five fashion favorites and five beauty favorites. So I really, really whittle this down and share them with you because I don't get to share favorites often. I share a lot of fashion, like trends, that sort of thing. So it's quite nice to kind of step back and show you what have been some of my absolute favorites for the past season. The first is actually a hair care product. I don't usually have hair care favorites. I guess like I'm really quite lazy when it comes to it. My hair is just naturally straight. That's usually how it stays but I really really love this this is from cloud nine and it's their quick dry potion you basically spritz this on your hair once you're out of the shower just before you're ready to blow dry it and it says it dries your hair faster and I was very skeptical about this when I first tried it I was a bit like how is this gonna make washing my hair any more bearable I guess I think a lot of girls don't like washing their hair it's just so tedious it takes so long especially drying once you ha once your hair gets like proper long or if you've got thick hair it's just so long to dry so when this was saying that yeah like it's faster I was instantly using it straight away but I was still skeptical about it but um I still used it anyway it became a part of my routine but still skeptical like one time I probably skipped it out a couple of times and I was literally like oh my gosh it makes such a difference because it was definitely taking me much longer to dry my hair when I wasn't using this and then when I came back on to using this I was literally like this makes so much difference so I really 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 love this it's a part of my routine it's not like a tedious process or anything like that it's just super simple to do so it's a step that I literally haven't skipped for months now and I love it next I have a couple of makeup bits as well the first being this Lancome foundation this is the Tante Idol ultra wear foundation I have it in the shade 25 I love this I think it's so so nice it's not too high coverage in my opinion I'm wearing it now I don't feel like it's very high coverage but I also don't feel like it's too sheer either or low coverage I just really like this it feels really nice on the skin it smells really nice as well which is probably a weird thing but as you put it on your face so close to your nose it's quite nice if it has a nice scent and I love this it's been my go-to I've had quite a few compliments when I'm wearing this as well which is always nice to hear and yeah it's just been a firm favorite I think ever since I received this I received this maybe two months ago potentially it's just my go-to it's the one I reach for the most and one of my faves next up I have a highlighter highlighters are quite hard because I love so many um, that I never really know whether to share them or not because I'm always changing but I have been sticking to this one pretty much religiously I'd say during the week five days out of seven I'm wearing this which is like a lot to be fair because I have quite a few highlighters but this is my fave this is by Pixie and it's from their collaboration with a youtuber called Aspie Novard and it's in the shade Santorini Sunset and I love it it's just it's super pigmented it's a really nice like bronzy color like I don't think it's too silvery because I really don't like a silvery highlighter I just don't think they look natural and this I think does give you that kind of natural glow and I just I really really like it I mean I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit pan on this pretty sure I'm gonna like keep using it for as long as I can but I just love it then we have one that came of a bit of a surprise to me I have rubbish lashes I say this all the time but I really struggle when it comes to finding mascaras or things that make my lashes look better um, so I have a few mascaras I like and I sort of uh, toy between the two I often use um, a combination of mascaras as well so sometimes a lengthening mascara and then a volumizing one on top but I think I was having a lazy day or something and I decided to just go for the mega volume Miss Hippie by L'Oreal and I was like right I'll just put this one on just want a little bit of volume and it'll be fine but I was so impressed with the results, like so impressed. And I think this works really well on its own. So I don't really like, I was using this with another mascara, this one on top. Um, and I just wasn't seeing that much from it. So I was a little bit underwhelmed by it. And I was just like, oh, I'll just keep using it, use it up and it's fine. But using this on its own, I really, really, really like it. I make sure I curl my lashes beforehand and try to stay there for like quite a long time with the curlers too, to ensure it kind of keeps that curl. And because this is waterproof, I find it definitely holds the curl 
better and longer as well and yeah I'm just really pleasantly surprised with this a good few coats of this and I think I, I'm just happy with the results I think it works quite nicely I haven't felt this way about a mascara in like quite a while as well so because I was so pleasantly surprised with this one I thought it was worth a mention and last from my beauty favorites but by no means least is the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm this is so good like I got this in a goodie bag or something like that I'm not too sure but I have been using it so much I wasn't really too sure about the whole cleansing balm thing I wasn't too sure how I would feel about it I didn't really know if it was for me but I gave it a go and I just love that you can actually see it like I really it might sound silly but with cleansers I really like that you can see it working you know you can see the makeup melting off you can see that it's doing the job and with Clinique it's exactly that honestly it gets rid of anything i really 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 like this i'm super pleased with it and um yeah just love it like balm cleansers were never really on my radar but since trying this one i know i'm going to be so excited to try more balm cleansers because i've just completely fallen in love with this product which now leads us on to my fashion favorites fashion favorites are kind of those things that i have been wearing loads throughout the past usually it's like the past three months the past season so throughout spring and um, the first, I don't think it's going to come as any surprise to any of you. It has just got to be this crossbody bag from Carvella. I love it so, so, so much. I got this back in February, I think it was. And I was toying with the idea of including this in my winter favourites at the time. But I was like, no, I've only had this for a month. Like, it could just be like the honeymoon period where I'm absolutely obsessed with it. But oh my gosh, that has filtered through completely this, it's just my go-to. It's such a good size. I don't know if you guys can see, but you can honestly fit so much in here. It fits, I can fit like a mini umbrella, I can fit a tote bag, I can fit my phone, purse, like all of that stuff. Everything fits in here so nicely. These are also super affordable. I've um, picked up mine from Shoeaholics and they sort of do discount Carvella and other brands as well. And it's just a really, really great bag. I would 100% recommend it. So much so that I actually picked it up in pink as well. So I thought the pink version would be really, really nice for springtime. And it's like kind of that dusty, dusty rose colour, which was quite um, which was quite in throughout like winter as well. Like towards the end of winter, this was definitely like peeking through, and I just love it. So I have both the black and the pink love them both equally there is also a brown which i really really love but i feel like you know two is already overkill i don't think i'm gonna go for the brown as well but if brown's your thing that's also available i love these because they have gold hardware i am all about gold hardware gold hardware is my fave and um yeah i just love these bags so so much and i knew i had to mention them because i've been wearing them so so much next up i have a pair of jeans and these are just random jeans though these are farley's farley's are my favorite so I did think I'd mention the Farley's just because they are my faves I will leave a link to the Farley's down below as well if you guys want to check those out they are such great jeans um but basically it's ripped jeans I've really been liking like the light wash so this kind of um denim wash and ripped at the knees I fell out of love with ripped jeans I feel like they became almost a bit too popular like too many people were wearing them and I was just a bit I was just over the whole having to shave my knees to wear ripped jeans I was just over that but um, come springtime, I was wearing denim so much and I was getting bored of wearing denim as well. So I was a bit like, right, what am I going to do? How am I going to have a bit of a wardrobe denim rejig? And I just decided to reach for my ripped jeans again. And I really, really love them. Um, these are my particular favourites because obviously the Farley's are my favourite style. They're a slim fit mum jean, if any of you are interested. And um, I also have another pair from Dorothy Perkins. Again, ripped at the knees. Again, this kind of light wash. And they're really nice as well. They're um, a skinny jean, so your standard skinny jean, if that's more of your thing. I will insert a couple of photos, and I will also leave a link to those ones down below as well if you are more interested in those. But yeah, I think ripped jeans is a nice alternative of denim come spring. Those aren't the only bottoms that I have been absolutely loving. Again, I feel like this will come as no surprise to you guys. But it's these white jeans where the fly is undone. But I love them. These are the ankle wide leg jeans from Next. I adore these. They're denim, but they're like the culotte style. So they're very much a wide leg. They've got a bit of a frayed hem. If you guys can see that, I'm pretty sure I featured these on my channel before. Um, I also just, my last video was a how to style culottes as well. I didn't feature these, but I featured the um, blue denim version. So do go check that out if you want to see a few ways of how to style them. But I love these. I've worn them 
so much. I get so many compliments when I wear them too. And anything that gets me compliments always makes me think it's it's a good one. It's it's a good one. Um, and I just love these. They're so comfortable because they're white. I was a bit worried that they'd be see through, but because these are denim, you have no issues whatsoever with that. And they're just such a great buy, such a great find from Next as well. So definitely, 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 definitely check these out. They're also available in tall, regular, and petite. So. Hopefully there will be something that's just right for you. Next up, I have a trench coat. And this I haven't been wearing so much lately. Although, having said that, I do think I posted an Instagram wearing this like two weeks ago maybe. So I guess I am still getting my wear out of it. But it's a trench coat. This one's from New Look. Again, love it. New Look is super affordable as well. I'm just a huge fan of New Look. But um, I love this so, so, so much. I bought this again. I think I started wearing this towards the end of February, maybe beginning of March. And um, when it was like a little bit cooler and I was still layering this over like jumpers, but it was just like a nice lightweight trench, which worked quite well. But I've still been wearing it now. Sometimes I wear it with dresses um, or even like a sleeveless top. I feel like this works quite well because it's not too... Um, it's not too heavy, it's not too bulky, it works really well as a lightweight out outerwear piece and I've just, yeah, been loving it so, so much. It was worth a mention because I have worn it so much and it was definitely a favourite. It's like your classic trench but just such a nice colour. And last but by no means least, I have a pair of backless loafers. These are from Bowden and I like I think I spoke about this in my how to style mules video actually because these featured in there so again if you want to see how to style these check out my Instagram or check out that how to style mules video as well where I um, feature these and two other pairs of mules but I love these I have just gravitated towards these so much I was at that awkward period where I needed to start choosing um, flat shoes for summer and for some reason like I just can't get my head over flat around flat heels they just don't work for me they just hurt me so much I ended up with completely like blistered and battered feet it was just awful and these were literally my go-to I love them because they're closed at the front so it sort of kept my toes all in there you couldn't see any of my blisters which was all good and the open back just made them so comfortable they're black as well so they go with everything and because they're this loafer design I feel like they're really quite you know, a bit more, I want to say like elegant, a bit more workwear ready, you know, they don't look as laid back as like maybe sliders or um, your standard kind of open toe mules, you know, I think they're a little more demure, they're a little more work ready and like city appropriate I think, so I love these, they are a little bit on the pricey side because they are from Bowdoin, but the quality is amazing, I mean I've worn them so 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 much and they are still looking almost as good as new, no signs of any wear or anything like that, they're just just the dream. And there we have it. Those were my fashion and beauty favourites for spring. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments down below what your fashion and beauty favourites were for spring as well. I'd be really interested in hearing. I am going to be filming my like summer wardrobe update very, very soon. You should see that in the next two weeks or so so maybe check back in two weeks if you are interested in that video in the meantime there will be another how to style next week so keep your eyes peeled for that one if that's your fave little series that i do i will actually leave a link to my how to style series down below in the description box and also up here in a card somewhere so you can check that out if you haven't caught up with my recent ones already as always a huge thank you for watching and i will see you all next week in my new video bye